What's going on guys? So it's been quite some time since I've come on here, give my in-depth um, thoughts and whatnot. So going to give a, uh, a quick little podcast here. It probably won't be as long as the podcast should be, but um, nonetheless, going to give uh, give my thoughts for a, uh, a little while on um, just what's been going on in WWE lately. Um, last night's, or not last night, but Monday Night Raw edition from June 9th, or uh, June 29th. Um, 2015 that I was talking about, um, that I previewed, that was, um, it was, it was a solid Monday Night Raw edition to say the least. Um, we saw, um, we saw a huge main event. The opening was phenomenal. Just want to start off by saying the opening of the show was phenomenal. Kudos to Seth Rollins. I love it. The whole Kane Hawaii thing, that was well played. Um, J and J security got a Cadillac that was well played as well. That was hilarious. It was just priceless. Everyone's reaction and whatnot, everything like that. Um, so kudos to Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins really breaking out of his shell the last few months, cutting amazing promos, amazing in the ring. Um, I love it. I love it. Uh, so yeah, we saw Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose battle Seth Rollins and Kane in the main event of the evening Monday night. That was a great match as well. Now, Roman Reigns has been feuding with Bray Wyatt lately. Um, ever since Bray Wyatt cost Roman Reigns the Money in the Bank briefcase in um, June. So Bray Wyatt came out on Monday night to cost Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose the victory pretty much. But Roman Reigns stood tall, tried to fight back until the authorities' odds caught up again. Um, and they beat up Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose. Then Bray Wyatt came out again and stood tall to Roman Reigns after hitting him with another sister, Abigail, finalizing the show. Now, that was the main event. That is the, uh, the current feud we have, um, Roman Reigns versus Bray Wyatt, like I mentioned. Now, Seth Rollins will be battling Brock Lesnar at Battleground, obviously. Brock Lesnar was not at Raw on Monday night. He is in Japan for the WWE Network Live edition this Saturday morning, Sunday morning, I believe. Um, sometime, but it's 4.30 a.m. or 5.30 a.m. Eastern Time, 2.30 a.m. Pacific. So I won't be catching that live. I'll catch that a little bit after it is aired. Um, maybe that night or that afternoon, depending on, uh, depending on what's going on, I guess. So stay tuned for that. Possibly a review, depending on how the show goes, what is produced, and what exactly happens. But we'll see what, uh, what goes on there. Um... Jack Swagger, I just want to say Jack Swagger, poor Swagger, guy hasn't been on TV in in a long time, he faced Bad News Barrett on Monday, and just pretty much got crushed, the bull hammer in a couple seconds, he had some offensive moves, so that was pretty good, but poor Jack Swagger, that's all I want to say, um, Dolph Ziggler has still yet to sign his contract, re-sign, um, rather, he is currently feuding with Rusev, Lana and Ziggler versus Rusev and Summer Rae now. Uh, we'll see how that goes, but I love it. Hopefully, Dolph Ziggler does resign very soon. We uh, we shall see what exactly happens. But um, but yeah, I hope he does resign. I am a huge fan of Ziggler in and out of the ring. His his work is phenomenal. Um, he's he's the show off for a reason. He um he obviously backs it up. He works hard. He is a great guy. Um, so I hope he does resign. I would hate to see him go to another wrestling industry like TNA or something like that. They would make him bigger, uh, um, bigger of a star. Just look at uh, Derek Bateman from NXT. He is now Ethan Carter III. This guy is the TNA World Heavyweight Champion. So TNA really knows how to uh, produce talent that WWE really drops off and wastes. Um, like I mentioned, Jack Swagger. Hey, never know. But uh, John Cena, Kevin Owens, that feud was amazing. Uh, it still is amazing. It continues on now. John Cena had a United States Open Challenge for Monday, um, and uh, pretty much Kevin Owens denied the match. Said, "Oh, maybe this guy will challenge you." And it was Cesaro, match of the year candidate. We have John Cena versus Cesaro. Other match of the year candidates: John Cena versus Kevin Owens. John Cena is stealing the show, as most of you guys uh, might not like the sound of that. It is honest. It is true, John Cena, Kevin Owens, and Cesaro stealing the show, um, but Kevin Owens, uh, 
broke up the match, hit Cesaro from the back, so Cena won by disqualification, kept the title. Kevin Owens then got on the microphone and said, I told you, like I said in the uh, in the beginning, the only person beating John Cena for the United States Championship is me. So, that was pretty solid. Um, other really special moments, like... Uh, there was like some little matches that really had no meaning whatsoever, like Big Show beat Mark Henry, Ryback beat The Miz, uh, Paige somehow beat Alicia Fox, Primetime Players and Lucha Dragons beat New Day and Bo Dallas in an eight-man tag match, Sheamus beat Neville. Um, that was really it. That was pretty much spectacular, but I hope Dolph Ziggler resigns with WWE. Um, Kevin Owens, Cena, Cesaro stealing the show recently. Um, Cesaro is without Tyson Kidd because Tyson injured his neck, put a graphic photo on Instagram, or Natalia did rather, um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much recently what's happening, um, Battleground in a few weeks, we have the WWE Network, uh, Japan special in a couple days, but yeah, tough enough, hopefully you guys have been watching that, I'm a little bit behind on that, but stay tuned for that. But yeah, just thought I'd uh, thought I'd come on here for a little while, talk to you guys. Um, yeah, so just check the the links in the description below for uh, everything like that, and um, yeah, stay tuned.